Hello, Animals with Their Own Nightlight by W. H. Beck. It's called bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is when living things make their own light. It glows. You might know some animals that glow, but others might be new to you. You might recognize fireflies, which aren't flies at all, but a type of beetle. Scientists think that their lights may warn predators, such as bats, that they aren't a good meal. Anglerfish lure other fish to them with their glowing light organ. Some glow on land. Many fungi, such as these foxfire mushrooms growing on rotting wood, light up the forest floor. Some glow in the air. Fireflies blink and flash to talk to other fireflies. They find their mate using their lights, too. But more than anywhere else on our planet, animals glow in the water. That's because sunlight can't reach very far under the waves. It's dark. So the animals make their own light. They glow. Water covers two-thirds of the earth, an, estimate, an estimated 50 to 80 percent of all life forms, including the white anglerfish and glowing sucker octopus seen here, are found under the ocean's surface. Are you wondering how animals glow? They have special chemicals called luciferin and luciferous in or on their bodies. These chemicals mix with oxygen and make light. Why do they glow? Well, they glow to hunt. The scaly dragonfish lures its prey with its light near its mouth. When a fish comes by to check it out, the dragonfish opens its jaws and scoops it in. They glow to hide. They glow to find a friend. Many ocean creatures, such as the jeweled squid, use counter-illumination. They can adjust the lights so that their undersides match the sunlight above the water. Then fish hunting them from below can't see them. Not only is it dark deep in the ocean, but there's a lot of room. Lanternfish find other lanternfish with the lights on their sides. Bioluminescence is the most widely used form of communication on the planet. They glow to, use, they glow to lose an enemy. They glow to trick. A brittle star can drop an arm when it is in danger. Its enemy will follow the glowing arm, which allows the rest of the star to get away. Small fish follow the light on the tip of the gulper eel's tail, thinking it's a piece of food. They get close, then gulp! The gulper eel's hinged pelican-like mouth allows it to swallow animals even bigger than it is. They glow to invite. Glowworms like these in a cave in New Zealand are actually firefly lar larvae. Their light draws insects into the cave. Then the glowworms snag them with sticky silk threads hung from the ceiling.
big glow to call for help. And Tola jellyfish act as a burglar alarm. They light up when attacked in the hope that larger animals will come eat their predators. They glow to fight back. When the deep sea, when the deep sea Spanish dancer is threatened, its outer skin lights up and comes off and sticks to its attacker. Now the predator is at risk of being spotted and eaten by its enemies. Meanwhile, the deep sea dancer makes its getaway. They glow to daze and dazzle. When threatened, the vampire squid spurts a cloud of glowing ink at its predators while it swims away. Green bomber worms release glowing round balls when pursued. And some glow for fun. Well, not exactly. Scientists just don't know yet why some animals are bioluminescence. Large animals glow. Little animals glow, but if you have enough of them, they can have a big effect.